Hey, happy Friday, everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Now, we have multiple storms coming through, and it's bringing snow with each one of them. So, we still have a lot of snow coming. Now, we do got some severe weather for today. We do have storms that's going to pile up for southern Alabama, for the panhandle of Florida. As we go through all afternoon long, you see your time of day up here on the top left. That is central time. Then it's going to attack southern Florida, over here by the Florida Keys, and go right up the North Carolina coast, as we go overnight and for tomorrow as well, bringing that severe weather. But look at this storm system we have on the West Coast. This is also bringing storms and is bringing some flooding over here towards Southern Oregon and Northern California. And we still have all these storms that's going to brew up in the Northeast and still bring that snow for upstate New York and Northern half of New England. So I'm gonna show you all the latest updates in this video. If you've never been here before, make sure you subscribe. I do weather forecasting all year long. Let me show you the latest information because we're gonna have multiple snowstorms coming now for today you do have chances for tornadoes this green section over here for the south and over here for southern florida as well as the five percent going right over to florida keys so here's your cities and states at risk for the tornado threat for today you also got chances for winds in the same location and hail the wind and the tornado threat is the biggest threats for today National Weather Service has thunderstorms associated with a wind damage, hail, and isolated tornado threat it will be possible this evening across parts of the Florida Keys. A marginal severe threat is also expected across parts of South Florida and the central to eastern Gulf Coast. Now, as you go into Saturday, you still going to have that tornado threat still for southern Florida and for the North Carolina coast, just like I just showed you. So far, here's your cities and states at risk. You also got a little bit of wind and no hail. So it is going to be wind and tornadoes for Saturday. And National Weather Service says isolated strong and severe thunderstorms may occur Saturday across parts of South Florida and the Keys, along with eastern North Carolina and the Outer Banks. Now you can see what you updraft for this. You also got chances for hail. That's indicative to hail and those storms is passing by the Florida Panhandle. Plus, as you go all even along, you see it does pass by southern Florida, also for the Florida Keys being the strongest and going into the Bahamas as well. Then for tomorrow, you got chances for hail, not as big as for Florida, but you got chances for hail on the edge of North Carolina also. Now this is bringing the wind threat all the way to the northeast, but you can also see that next system is starting to bring those winds as well. So what we have for this system all the way up through the east coast, showing it will pile up all evening long, going across central Florida from Tampa and east, all the way from the Florida Panhandle and east, bringing that 40 to that 50 miles per hour wind gusts, even getting pockets of 60 and 70. 70 is that brown. Then as you go through for tomorrow morning and moving up the east coast, you see it's still bringing the 50 miles per hour wind gusts across the Florida Keys into the Bahamas, bringing up to 60 and it's still hitting right up to Carolinas with 50 miles per hour wind gusts also. And bringing high 40 to 50 miles per hour wind gusts right up North Carolina, Virginia, Maryland, and Delaware, showing it could get up to 60 for y'all, Southern Jersey, Eastern Pennsylvania, New York, and some of the Northeast, bringing that 40 and that 50. Showing the strongest is a big pocket right here by Southern Jersey, Maryland, and Delaware, right where that surface low pressure pivots to the west and then goes back east. It will be strong. It could be some flooding also. Showing that these storms will bring multiple areas of flooding. First, you got it for Southern Oregon and for Northern California. Also across the Florida Panhandle going across Georgia into the Carolinas and up through the Northeast. Plus heavy rainfall coming through Florida, the Florida Keys, and the Bahamas. Bring anywhere to one to two plus inches of rainfall for Oregon and California. Bring in pockets of one and two plus inches for southern Alabama, Panhandle of Florida, going into Georgia. Also for Florida, going from Tampa all the way down towards the Keys, getting heavier and heavier. Two to three inches, going from three to four inches, then going from four to six inches of rainfall expected plus what's coming in the Bahamas. And you see how it does pick up for the Carolinas, going one and two plus inches, getting towards three inches along the coast. But showing it will get heavier as it goes towards Maryland, towards Delaware, eastern Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Long Island, New York, Connecticut, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, going towards the northeast as well, bringing a good swath of rainfall, one and two, some places getting over three inches. Now, this also is bringing some snowfall, and all of it is going to turn to snow for upstate New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine, over a foot. 
Now, this is bringing some flooding with this. So for today, for Southern Oregon, Northern California, you do have a marginal for flash flooding for today. And you also have it for Southern Florida and what's over to Southeast. But Southern Florida, you have a slight risk going from the Florida Keys going all the way across for Miami. So watch out for that flooding. That is some big numbers. It is going to bring a lot of ponding on the streets. You still get the marginal going all the way towards North Carolina. For tomorrow, this is going towards the Northeast, bringing a slight risk. You still have it over here for Oregon and California, but now you have it for North Carolina going all the way up to Virginia, and the slight risk has grown all the way from Virginia, Southern Maryland, Delaware, Eastern Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New York, Long Island, Connecticut, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, and going right up New Hampshire and portions of Maine. Got a good bit of snowfall over here from Milwaukee already, but you can see that big banding coming with that storm system is going to be for southern Wisconsin, northern Illinois, eastern Iowa, even some for western Michigan, bringing a good swath of snow. This is just the first one. Remember, we still got a parade of storms. We got the next one and then at least two more right behind that as we're still in March. So you can see as we go Sunday into Monday, we get that high pivot. We get some big banding coming on this snowstorm. Why are you getting a little bit of severe weather Sunday into Monday, bringing flooding as well as that moves across all the way towards the southeast. Bringing some good rainfall, but bringing some more flooding. Then we're going to have another snowstorm. Then we're going to have another snowstorm. It's going to be one after another as we go through March. Showing as we come into Sunday evening, then we're going to get that big swath of snow coming, but then it's going to pivot for Monday. And look how it just steadily gets that five to six inches every 12 hours. That is just going to be a lot of accumulation as that adds up for South Dakota Eastern and for Minnesota. Still showing a banger of a snowstorm coming for y'all over a foot still. And you still got that 18 inches to that two feet coming in from Minnesota. But look at this after you go snowstorm after snowstorm after snowstorm it's just going to keep adding up but on the southern side this is going to bring a lot of rainfall it's going to bring more flooding across the south and the southeast all the way up towards northeast and along the west coast it's added to a lot of rainfall for y'all as well so here we go for monday now the storm system is not only in severe weather but now we're starting to pick up on our flooding so we do have the marginal and the slight risk for monday also for tuesday as them storms move further to the east remember it's going to be a little bit further north off the gulf coast this is your slight risk and you have your marginal for flash flooding still showing it's going to be a strong system moving in it is going to bring some winds as it comes across the south central you see the tight isobars in that system but as you move in for monday it just weakens down and it even loses precipitation and all the heavy snowfall but it still brings that potential squall line we've been talking about you still got your dew points going all up to southern arkansas your tornado threat and your severe weather will be on the southern side of that as that comes across for Monday. Then as you go into Tuesday, it still carries across. We don't have severe weather just yet. That could update a little bit. Still showing you got a lot of strong lower level winds aloft. This has helped strengthening those storms as it comes across, bringing all that storms and the snow that's coming with it on the northern side. You see it don't reach too far south until you get to Monday. Then you can see that potentially that squall line is bringing a lot of strong winds aloft. And that's where you could start kicking off your severe weather threat as you go into Monday evening. That looks like the strongest day. Might even kick in a little bit for Tuesday. That still could be upgraded from what I can see. Still showing as you go through Sunday. It's still bringing those 50 dew points, but it's bringing those 60s as you come through Texas. Now, this is going to switch as you're going through Monday. It's still showing those strong 60 dew points going all the way up to southern Arkansas. That's where your severe weather is going to kick up. Now, if you watch as you go through Tuesday, you still get them as well. So that could easily ramp up to a little more severe weather as we go through tuesday you just don't have a lot of strong lift i'll show you so as you look with your cape with your lift you can see as you get that thunderstorm on sunday it does ramp up and start getting that storm going for the snowfall it is a pretty heavy precipitation snowfall but as you go through monday look how it raises up and you do have dew points going all the way up to southern arkansas but your lift don't go that high then as you go into Tuesday, look how it stays southern again. So you, even though you get that squall line popping up, it's not showing a lot of convection, a lot of instability with that, but it still could raise back up. 
But as we go into Sunday, we do have that severe weather risk. We have the 5% and the 15%. So far, here's your cities and states at risk. Now, National Weather Service does have isolated to scattered severe thunderstorms are forecast to develop Sunday afternoon and persist through Sunday night across parts of the southern central plains. Now, this is important. Listen up. Now, the shear is strong enough to support supercells and a threat for severe hail with this initial development. The tornado threat is more uncertain given the moisture level. Then as you go through Monday, you got that 15% again. So here's your cities and states at risk, and you do see it did move some. Now for Monday, they're saying that instability will overlap with strong shear. Now a risk for supercells, bow in line segments, maybe that squall line, and tornadoes should exist on Monday through Monday night from parts of eastern Texas into Louisiana and Mississippi and vicinity. And as we go Tuesday into Wednesday, the potential for a continuation of a severe weather threat across parts of the southeastern states becomes even more uncertain. We do have lift, and it could ramp back up. Thank you for your time, everybody. Hope you have a very great day today. And most of all, thank you so much for all your happy birthdays. I was just so overwhelmed. It was all over the place, Facebook, YouTube. It was just everywhere. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And thank you so much for my son. His birthday is today, and we're going to celebrate. Just keep on celebrating. So hope you have a great day today. If you find this information helpful, please think about sharing this video on other platforms, helping other people. I do appreciate every single one of y'all. I will see you again on Sunday morning to talk about the next storm and the other two coming right behind that. Now, before you go, Psalm 35, 19 through 28. Let not them that are mine enemies wrongfully rejoice over me. Neither let them wink their eye that hate me without a cause. For they speak not peace, but they devise deceitful matters against them that are quiet in the land. Yes, they open their mouth wide against me and said, Aha, aha, or I have seen it. This thou hast seen, O Lord. Keep not silence, O Lord. Be not far from me. Stir up thyself and awake to my judgment, even unto my cause, my God and my Lord. Judge me, O Lord, my God, according to thy righteousness, and let them not rejoice over me. Let them not say in their heart, Ah, so would we have it. Let them not say we have swallowed him up. Let them be ashamed and brought to confusion together that rejoice at mine hurt. Let them be clothed with shame and dishonor that magnify themselves against me. Let them shout for joy and be glad that favor my righteous cause. Yes, let them say continually, let the Lord be magnified, which hath pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. And my tongue shall speak of thy righteousness and of thy praise all the day long. Amen. Have a great day, everybody. I'll see you again on Sunday morning. Remember, all glory always goes to God, our Father in heaven, Yahweh, and hope he always keeps you safe, you and your family, and forever. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Have a great weekend, everybody. Enjoy all that snow. <laughs>